If you haven't been following the almost constant controversy coming out of the day before, we'd forgive you. The absolute disaster class this game has put out into the world has left a bit of a stain on the industry as a whole and has almost certainly completely finished off the studio that made it. From unfulfilled promises to allegations of a scam eventually leading to the game being completely removed from Steam amid a slew of one-star reviews and refund requests. And if all that doesn't sound bad enough, it turns out that the story around the day before just keeps getting worse. Let's, unfortunately, dive into it. As if promising a huge zombie shooter MMO and releasing a barely functioning derivative extractor shooter wasn't bad enough, it turns out things were allegedly a whole lot worse at Fantastic and for their team. The details around the development of the day before have always been a little bit sus. And after an investigation by German game outlets GameStar and Game2, which were published this week, a light has been shone on a team that was working under absolutely soul-crushing crunch culture, unrealistic expectations, and even fines for failure to deliver work that was deemed acceptable. The findings were the result of a massive investigation from GameStar and Game2, who spoke with 16 former employees at Fantastic, as well as one volunteer. If you recall, there was more than a little backlash in November 2023 when it turned out that the beta for the game that Fantastic had been promising for a while would only be made available to those who volunteer for the developer, essentially people who are already working on the game or are helping Fantastic to develop it. These volunteers included both actual employees at Fantastic and external volunteers who give up their free time to do unpaid work on the game, so really, we should have seen this monumental disaster that was its launch coming. And the report, by the way, is damning. According to the findings the day before, According to the findings, the day before actually started out as a way less ambitious project than it eventually became, supposedly starting life as what was being described as a small-scale survival game with cartoony visuals and a winter-style aesthetic, not a hyper-realistic graphical marvel with zombies, cars, massive cities, and a whole ranch sim on the side to boot. But things quickly took a turn as the achievable project transformed into the monstrosity the day before would become. Mostly, it seems due to the demands of higher-ups who wanted the game to include what first appears like a shopping list of trendy game features over the last five years. More realistic graphics, a post-apocalyptic zombie-infested world, which had to be an open world, obviously, and a character creator on the scale of games like Game of the Year 2023, Baldur's Gate 3. Needless to say, asking that of what was at most a 20-person team didn't exactly work out well for anyone. Now, if that seems like an unreasonable ask and likely to result in dev burnout and a general feel of ire around the game, then you'd be right. But unrealistic demands were only part of the problem, according to the sources in the report, with fantastic founders Eduard and Asen Katovtsev apparently the biggest source of stress and anxiety during development. The employees interviewed describe on-the-spot firings being used to motivate the team, including testers if the founders discovered a bug before they did, just one example of seemingly very innocuous and easy-to-fix mistakes that happen all the time in game dev resulting in firings or even in some cases fines being handed down for the most minor of errors. Sources in the report mention a story about two individuals who were asked to pay almost $2,000 for turning in what were called low quality voice recordings. Suffice to say, the efforts and the alleged strain Fantastic's development team were put under was and is wrong and the day before clearly suffered because of it. Stumbling onto Steam on December 7th, the project lasted days before it was declared a financial failure, was pulled from all platforms, and refunds were eventually offered with the very apt final response from Fantastic, shit happens. The servers were permanently shut down on January 22nd, putting the final nail in the coffin of this ridiculous story. The day before is a perfect lesson in what can go wrong in the gaming industry in 2024. A tale of poor management, astronomically poor marketing decisions, and ultimately what looks like a dev team that was doomed to fail by decisions completely out of their control. The day before controversy just keeps getting worse, but fingers crossed, this is the last we ever hear about it. Thanks for watching. This was not a fun story at all, but it's an important one to tell. Both GameStar and Game2 have articles and a video that cover this story in even more detail, so do check that out. And if you're looking for, hopefully, more cheerful gaming news and views to keep you up to date, stick with us at GG Recon and check out these videos here.